everyone, and welcome to another episode of Financial Freeway. My name is David J. Atwood. I am the man rocking the Ray-Bans, and today I especially need to be rocking the Ray-Bans because I'm on the equator. I'm in a little uh, tiny island uh, of Bali in the uh, country of Indonesia, and I just had to get away from the, uh, the bar where me and the Gabsters are drinking coconuts. But we are here. Uh, I'll just give you a little panorama view here. There's the Indian Ocean behind me. Uh, a little overcast, but still, oh, so nice. And you know, me and Seth like to do these cold dips in the ocean. And uh, I thought, you know, for solidarity, I would uh, I would continue my ocean cold dips in this. Uh, the only issue is is that this uh, this ocean is, uh, is is like a warm bath. It's, it's pretty amazing. Uh, so, I don't even know what today's episode is going to be about. Honestly, we did uh, 23 hours of uh, traveling to get here, and it made me really realize a couple things. Uh, number one, uh, Korean Air, <laughs> amazing service while you're in the plane, uh, but they will destroy your luggage. My, my suitcase got back to me just, it was like they, it was, and even Gabby said this, it was like I was complaining about it being uh, damaged. And she was saying, well, it happens, Dave. Like, that's what she does. Whenever I say I'm complaining about something, she'll go, that, that's what happens. But uh, she said, even she said, it looked as though somebody uh, got it stuck under a car and dragged it a couple of kilometers. Oh, that's a little high. Okay. And I've actually got a deck of cards in my pocket, so I don't get too wet. But um, uh, the service though, on the flight was uh, just impeccable. I couldn't believe how good they were treating us. And it was so funny, the difference between taking Alaska Air from Victoria to Seattle and then, oh, sorry, I got my hand there. Uh, uh, Alaska Air from Victoria to Seattle and then from Seattle to uh, Seoul on Korean Air, it was like, oh, the difference was night and day. So uh, what can I talk about today? Here's the thing. While I was on the flight, I realized I, I really think I want to uh, I want to have my own jet. I don't want to... Um, I don't want to wait in line and I mean oh my god like you know running from one <laughs> when we got to Seattle we had to run from one gate all the way in a big circle around the whole terminal and we ended up right back at the gate right next to the gate we just left trying to get there in time oh I think that's what they call a riptide I'm in I think it is so I'm gonna get out of that anyways um I just want to I want my own uh my own uh, jet. So I I have no idea how I'm gonna get my own jet. I have no idea, but I didn't know how I was gonna be able to get to, to Bali to hang out here and just do uh, uh, do nothing for a couple of months. Like I didn't know how that was gonna work out and yet here I am, a plan was made. The important thing is to end up with, uh, in order to end up somewhere great, you have to envision that great place first. So you can't just, um, you're not just gonna accidentally show up somewhere. If you do, I mean, you might. That's that's winning the lottery, but uh, you, you you have to have an idea of where you want to go, no matter how crazy it seems. Now, right now, and I am very serious when I say this, I want to I want to ha I want to own a jet. In fact, I want to, I want to own a fleet of jets. I don't know how I'm going to do it, and I'm just going to put it together and start putting plans together and see who I can talk to to make this happen. Because what I want to do is I want to hop, I want to drive up to the plane, hop on the plane and fly directly to where I want to go. I don't want to wait lines and uh, and uh, have my luggage picked around by people who just don't care. So I think what I want to do is challenge all of my subscriber to do that, to come up with an idea, come up with a concept, a, a, a strange, crazy goal that's just, unbelievable so when you tell your friends and this is what I tell people all the time a lot of people you know especially with uh, I'm taking a life coaching course right a life coaching uh, course right now while I'm in Bali and when you're in a place like like when you're reading that course they talk about how um, all of your goals have to be uh, quantifiable small achievable yeah maybe I think I think shoot bigger shoot better shoot for the stars have something that's insane, something that's so crazy. Like if I were to say to you, my goal is to do one push-up today. I understand that's a step to get to where you want to go, but my goal is to have a six-pack body. Have the, one of those bodies where they think my face has been photoshopped onto a, like some bodybuilder's a body. That's what I want. That's the body I want. 
That's the goal, that's the vision. The, the steps to get there, make those achievable. Make those realistic and achievable. But the goals itself, like where you wanna end up, be crazy. I wanna, I wanna have a fleet of jets. Anyways, folks, thanks so much for watching. <laughs> I'm gonna probably do a few more of these while I'm out here walking in the uh, Indian Ocean. Uh, but uh, if you haven't already subscribed, because you know, my, my one subscriber, he's lonely, he needs, he needs buddies. So um, subscribe. And uh, if you like what you're watching, hit the thumbs up button. Always, that always makes you feel good. And uh, I think the most important thing is to share. Uh, share what we're talking about. Talk to other people about the goals and uh, the visions we have here. And um, how to become, uh, not how to become, like, like it's not the right answer. Like I'm not, I'm not, I'm not giving you the, the I'm not, I'm not spoon feeding you the answers you need. But I'm hopefully giving you some ideas and opening up your mind to what's possible and what's achievable with uh, just uh, recreating the thoughts in your mind of how things could actually, how things are supposed to work. Um, so, oh, and make sure you check out financialfreeway23.ca. I'm still gonna be posting on the blog, still gonna be posting videos there. Uh, but of course, as I always say, just share, share the good word because that's what we're here to do. Because I want everyone to have a life uh, uh, that is uh, uh, abundance, a life of abundance. And it should be your right. Anyway, thanks so much for watching.